Hey, what's going on guys? Briz Brands back again. Got a bit of team deathmatch on lockdown. Um, I'm running the FMG9, the secondaries with Akimbo. And I get most of my kills on this match with the, those secondary weapons. So I'd highly recommend uh, giving them a try. Uh, they're pretty they're pretty beast when it comes to the short range killing. Uh, long range, you got to be a little bit more accurate. Uh, there is some long range kills that I get in this gameplay, so expect those to be coming up soon. I find that on this particular map, a lot of people tend to hang around this this particular building here. I don't know why, whether it's just uh, a main a main point for people to come to, or like somewhere in the middle of the map. But I kind of kind of hang around here for a little bit, get some kills. I do end up getting a kill streak using these weapons. Uh, there's the occasional time that I'll swap sw swap over to my primary, which is the uh, Scar L. I still yet to unlock the uh, gold camo for it, but I shouldn't be too far off. I got the uh, red and the autumn, so just got the gold to go. But yeah, Modern Warfare 3 seems to be going pretty decent now. Um, I logged in today and there was a new update. I hadn't, be hadn't been on for a day or two, so I'm not sure how long it's been out. But voice chat, I'm not too sure if that's any better. But um, matchmaking seems to be fine at the moment. Occasional lag in servers, but I think that's just the, the host. So yeah, as you can see there, there's a kill. Long... Fairly long range for these weapons. But yeah, you get it. there's a fair bit of kick, so when you when you're shooting long distance it kind of uh, kicks upwards towards the sky, so gotta kinda kinda of take that into consideration. But yeah, as I was just saying, people tend to like to hang around this particular hallway and area. You can see that guy there. Uh, yeah, I don't mind this map. I'm still kind of getting used to the whole layout of it. Um, it's probably one of the maps I've only played probably half a dozen times now. So, still getting used to it. So far, I don't think there's any maps that I really dislike in MW3 yet. Probably eventually will be one that I can remember. At the moment, they're all pretty good. Um, Call of Duty Elite is finally back up on its feet. The website seems to be working fine. Uh, there was one small issue that I had and that's when I made a clan. I couldn't seem to invite anybody to my clan, so I'm not sure what's going on there. But all your stats and all your gameplay, all your recent matches and stuff will come up on the website. And on the um, PlayStation Free app seems to be working fine. Not sure whether they've got they've released the mobile apps yet. Uh, probably a week or two ago, I checked that, and there wasn't any news or any release of an app. So if there is, please let me know because I'm looking forward to getting that app on the Android and checking it out. This kill here is pretty cool. Just lay down and get him with the bouncing buddy. So yeah, not a whole lot more to talk about. As I said in my previous video, I've been playing a bit of Skyrim. It's a really good game. Um, one of the other commentators mentioned about how this game kind of knocks out any any other competition, like Skyrim and that, when they released it. I, rec I reckon Skyrim would have got a lot more plays, a lot more people playing it if they had released it before MW3. But not too sure. I never really played Oblivion, but I watched one of my mates play it quite a few years ago and it seemed decent. And Skyrim's just a massive improvement over it. So yeah, that's what I've been doing, bit playing a bit of that and a bit of this. Cod's Cod's like a drug, it kinda sucks you back in after a while. Can't you can't get away from it for a couple of days. 
so. Anyways, as you can see at the start of the clip, I did spend quite a few hours making a new a new intro and I got a video of that too. It's not too bad. I mean it's only it's only like four seconds, so Some people might prefer a nice triple kill there. Some people might like to might prefer smaller intros rather than longer ones. So anyways, yeah, these guns are great. Recommend giving them a try. Especially for um short range areas like in these houses and apartments and stuff. I, te I tend to run them with another, like an assault rifle and that, and I just switch between them. Like if I'm inside, like a, a close range combat area like in here, I switch to these guys, and then if I'm out in the open, I usually switch to my Scarl. But I was just pretty much trying to get you guys some decent gameplay of these secondary weapons. They are, they are pretty overpowered. I mean... It doesn't take long to kill someone with them. But there's always going to be the guns that are slightly more overpowered than another one. This is some um, some Reaper gameplay here. I didn't end up getting my Osprey. And I think I only got like one kill with this. Because like the whole other team was pretty much just camping it out. Could have got a triple there, but the rocket hit the roof. Which is kind of annoying because I didn't actually aim for it to hit the roof. Enemy recon drone incoming. Chopper standing by. And yeah, I got two choppers with this. This is pretty alright. So yeah, not a whole lot more to talk about. Um, I'm going to try and upgrade my computer over the next few months probably. And looking into getting a uh, better PVR. So yeah, there's the final kill. Hope you guys enjoyed that pretty beast bit of gameplay there. Don't forget if you like the video to give it a thumbs up, comment, rate and subscribe. It's Briz Brands. Take it easy. Have some more videos coming up real soon. And I'll just uh, show you the last bit, like, what I unlock and stuff. I haven't prestiged yet, because I've been playing Skyrim and that, so. Anyways, take it easy. See you guys.